It's very interesting because one of the most difficult things about getting better is taking care of yourself. And there's a lot to do when you're dealing with a disease, a serious disease like cancer. And we all, I have found that the people that I know and work with, all their first instinct is to take care of the people around us and protect them from what's going on. But that's the exact opposite, because we're loving them and sacrificing ourselves. And very possibly, that's what got us to a point where our immune system became compromised, because that's all cancer is, is a, it's a compromised immune system that could not fight off whatever was going on. So the transition from taking care of others, it's, it's oh my goodness, how does a mother tell her children she has cancer? How does anybody share that with? And the instinct again is to take care of them. And I find that a lot of healing happens when we go from this bridge to the other one and understand that the only way that I can truly take care of the people that I love is by taking care of myself. And it feels selfish. It really does. And getting through this and doing it is exhausting and we really only heal when we're resting and sleeping and we're not used to wanting to do that because we want to be there out there with everybody else and I can remember um, in September of 2008 when I was actually going to my daughter's house for dinner it was our high holidays and, and we were going there for dinner and I had been having treatment all week leading up to it, and I was so tired that I couldn't go. And I getting dressed, and I kept thinking, I'm going to disappoint everybody, and will they worry about me? It's, oh my gosh, mom is, is worse, and is this and that. So I called, and I, I said, Marlo, I just want to tell you that I'm so sorry, but I am exhausted, and I have to lie down and go to bed. And we cried a little, and she said, thank you. She said, thank you so much for taking care of yourself. We're fine. So that was a big day for me. It was a big breakthrough. And then I could feel I didn't have to worry about anybody else. But putting ourselves first is one of the most difficult things that anybody in this situation can ever do. And I just really want to say to anybody that ever sees or hears this, that the greatest gift we can give the people we love is to get better. And the only way to get better is to understand what it takes. And we can only do that by putting ourselves first. It's not selfish. It's the greatest gift we can give.